What you guys got another video here for you. In my previous video, I showed you how to reset your lost uh, password on a Windows 10 machine on the local account there. Now, I did say I'd make the following video to show you how to create that software, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So, we're going to need to come to the LazySoft website. It's lazysoft.com. Now, once you get here, you can go to the Recover My Password, hit the free download button and you will see a bunch of options here for you. For the non-commercial use, which is for the home user edition, it's free to use, okay? That means if you're running a business or something like that, then you will need to purchase the professional edition, which is for companies and stuff like that. And uh, as you can see there, they've got the 55% off at the moment. But on the free version, if you are a home user and you have no intentions of running a business and you wanna do it as a home user, you can use it for free. So you want to hit the download button and this will then download the actual software for you. So once you've got the download, just hit the download button and you will get that software down. Now I've already got mine down on my uh, desktop here, so I'm going to quickly install this for you. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So I'm just going to quickly go through the motions here. And we're just going to say install. And once we've got this installed, we can then create a USB flash drive or CD or DVD depending on what version you want to go with. So now we can launch our software. Now this is the actual software here. As you can see here you've got all your uh, tools here. We'll take a look at these a little bit later on once we created this. So we're going to hit the burn CD or USB uh, disk. Now I have already got my USB flash drive plugged into uh, this computer and I'll quickly show you that. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go File Explorer and as you can see here, uh, if you look here you'll see the drive. I've got a little small 4 gigabyte uh, USB flash drive. So I'm going to click on this button here and then as you can see here we're just going to leave this. Do not specify the Windows version of the target computer. You can see here you can specify if you wish and uh, also you have the options here you can click on options and there's a load of other parts here that you can do specify the WinPE version that you want to use okay and you've also got the uh, add WinPE drivers and this is if you want to add in extra drivers uh, if you wish you can do that here and also you can see the USB disk uh, options format the USB disk is ticked I'm going to go next and now you've got the option to create a CD or DVD or USB flash drive or you can create an ISO file just like the one I have here. I'll show you both ways to do the USB flash drive and create a, uh, an ISO image so you can use that for whatever you like. So we're just going to click on this. Make sure that you have got the right drive selected. Uh, go next and we'll start and it will say you must format the USB flash drive. It's going to warn you that all the data on that uh, USB flash drive will be wiped. So just bear that in mind. If you've got anything on there that you want to keep, maybe back that up first. Click yes, and it will then start the process. Now this will take several minutes to complete. Just let it do its thing. And that is now being completed. And as you can see here, there's a couple of links to some tutorials on how to boot to your uh, CD-ROM drive boot from your CD-ROM drive or how to boot from a USB flash drive. I have made videos on both of these topics so if you want to follow those you can or you can click on these and use that. You will need to change the boot order of your uh, in your BIOS to boot to USB flash drive or DVD or CD. I'm going to click finish here and I'm going to quickly show you how to create an ISO file so we're just going to leave this as is and go forward and then we're going to click on ISO image click browse now I'm going to stick mine in the documents folder here you know you can name it whatever you like I'm going to leave this as default and click save and this will then give us the path and then we can click start and that will then start to create that ISO image for us if you want to have a ISO image okay so that's the uh, ISO image created and if I look at the uh, documents area here you can see there's been a ISO added inside there for us. I'm just going to click OK here and click finish 
and what we'll do is we'll boot up to this and take a look what it looks like so here we have our menu when we first boot up so we're gonna click on the live CD and there we are we're at the uh, desktop of that live CD so here we have our program so you can see we have four uh, little panes here to look into so we can look into the Windows recovery so we we'll click on that and there we can see so here we have a load of buttons here and you can see down below bottom here we have the one cl uh, click fix for crash solutions boot crash solutions loading uh, crash solutions and so on okay and I'm not going to cover all of these and click on them I'm just going to show you roughly what you get with this uh, piece of software so you've got the one click fix you've got the boot crash and you can see here we have MBR repair fix boot sector rebuild boot menu and so on uh, loading crash and you can see registry uh, recovery registry editor and so on so if you wanted to click on the registry editor this will give you access to the registry and uh, so on so we can also see here random crash memory diagnostics uh, registry recovery and so on so the memory diagnostics uh, this will tell you to reboot the system and then it will start to do the memory diagnostics uh, restore disk and that will give you the uh, load windows restore or file manager or windows file manager as you can see here gives you access to that or you can use their file manager who created the software like so and also we've got find a solution and inside here you can find the windows key and we also have repair tools and there's loads of repair tools down here so you can see there's quite a, an array of tools here that be quite useful if you want to fix a, a Windows if you've got issues with it and you can boot into a live environment and use this to fix uh, a lot of problems so that's the Windows recovery we also have data recovery as you can see here file scan undelete unformat and deep scan and we also have here a disk image and clone which gives you the ability to uh, drive to image or image to drive or clone a disk or clone a partition and it gives you a load of other tools here as you can see down the left hand side you can create a VHD attach a VHD detach a VHD and so on wipe your disk create a partition delete a partition all sorts of good stuff here uh, lost uh, partition recovery so you can see quite some quite a useful bunch of tools here for you and you've got your disk layout gives you the look there and you've got these little tabs at the top here to click on now also uh, we have the, the recovery password recovery option which you've seen me use in my previous video you can click on this and restore the password and the Windows key you find the Windows key here and let's take a quick look at their desktop as you can see here very basic um, but it only needs to be basic to do certain jobs so as you can see here a basic look but a very powerful little tool and hopefully I might be able to do some videos and show you some of these in action so that's going to be about it that's how you can create your own lazy soft recovery software to reset all your passwords and also uh, fix a lot of computer issues with uh, Windows whether it be Windows XP right the way up to Windows 10 so I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian. I hope you uh, enjoyed these videos. If you do, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers, then you can always head over to my forum. And that's uh, on the screen right now. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page and you want to join that, then also you can go over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you a thing. So thanks again for watching, guys. And thanks for your continued support.